Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. Today we're gonna do cross site scripting. The last video we did the uh, server side request forgery. Hope you guys like that. So let's uh, get right into it. So cross site scripting, learn how to detect and exploit XSS, that's cross site scripting vulnerabilities. Do control other visitors browser so as always guys i recommend to read through all these tasks i'm just going to show you how to answer the questions and uh, show you how my thought process and also i do not have any it uh, background but uh, this is what i like to do I like to learn and spend my time my, and my own money and of course you know i love playing games and uh, building computers i was younger okay Let's get right into it. Task one, room brief. The question is, ask your questions below. What does XSS stand for? And right here, cross type scripting. You can copy and paste or type in. Okay. Task two, XSS payloads. So it talks about proof of concept. And these scripts. So which document property could contain a user's session token? Hint document C something. So I already gave you a hint. And I believe where is it? Document Base64. Document right here. Document cookie. Which JavaScript's method is often used as proof of concept as you read through the test? The simplest payload all you need to demonstrate is, I believe is this one. Alert box, string text, for example. Which JavaScript is often used as proof of concept, I believe, is uh, alert. Yeah. There you go. Task three, reflective XSS. So it talks about reflective cross-site scripting, examples, and the question below says, what in and URL is a good place to test reflected XSS. And there's on the bottom is how to test for reflected cross of scripting. And I believe it's uh, parameters. Parameters? Yes, it is. Task four, store XSX. So it talks about another way. And the question is, how are the store access payloads usually stored on the website? Let's see, post in the database. JavaScript usually stored in the database. Let's try it. Awesome. Task five, DOM base XSS. So what is DOM document object model? So the question is what unsaved JavaScript method is good to look for, good to look for in source code? Let's see. On the last paragraph, we found a bit of codes, handle value to unsaved JavaScript such as eval. That's correct. All right. Task six, blind, car subscripting. I know I'm going through these uh, tasks really fast. Again, I recommend reading through every task to get a basic understanding what it's all about. Uh, the question for blind XSS, what tool can you use to test for blind XSS? 
Let's see. When testing for blind, ensure go popular tool to for blind as is access hunter express. And I believe that's the answer. You can also click on the website, see what it is all about. So it goes to GitHub. What type of X is very similar to blind SXX? Similar to store. All right, task seven, perfecting your payload. And it says load the start machine. So I'm going to use the attack box that comes with try hack me and uh, I already loaded. So it looks something like this. And it says go to the website. So what you can do is click this off clipboard paste. Then uh, load the Firefox web browser. Takes a while. Okay. I'm going to paste and go. All right. Let's start. So follow this along and um, it should be fairly simple. So level one, let's enter your name. Okay. Let's go Adam. All right. It says confirming fail. So no one's instead of entering, we're going to try entering this JavaScript. So we can type it in or just copy and paste the clipboard for faster and enter a DHM. That was easy. Level two. So when you get this box, it means you complete one level. Again, enter a name. Now all these screenshots right here are basically you right click and page source code and you will see right here, same exact thing. Now if this is fail, so for level two, use the following play code. So you can paste this. You add semicolon or parentheses and here you go, level two, complete. All right, let's go level three. It says enter a name again. Now fail. So this one's is a, got the escape text area a little differently. Again, you can just paste the first one and it looks exactly the same. You just need to add the alert. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Alert text area. Despite adding this script text area and you get another one. All right, level four. So let's just enter your name again. Well, actually, uh, did I do level two? Oh, great. I kind of made a mistake actually. I'm still level two. Sorry guys, I forgot to There you go. I forgot to go to the next level. Actually. I hope this doesn't confuse you, but you will get the same. There you go. Uh, let's go low four. All 
part 04. So fail. Then delete this. Just follow along. I know it's all form, but uh, you get right used to it. All right. There you go, level four. It's this uh, script right here. So every time you complete level, click level five, that's I forgot to do the previous one. And then level five. So again, enter a name. It fails. Then you click this script, it fails again, as it says. Now, it's asking you to enter double script. You could type it in or just copy and paste. I'm just gonna copy and paste for, for the speed of it. And there you go. So every time when it loads successful, click to the next level. And the last one six. So image cat. So it talks about inputting the script again doesn't work. And it says let's change our payload. And as you can see, it's already filled out. You can just clear this, clipboard it, and put that. And you should get the answer. Again, correct. Picture a cat. And that's your answer right here. It says, what's the flag you received from the level six? So, script master. All right, let's, uh, you have to terminate this now. And you got to start the machine again for this practical blind cosar scripting. Start the attack box. Okay, so while loads, um, currently uh, I do not have any IT experience, but I am current and certified in uh, CompTIA, IFT plus, A plus, CYSA plus, Network plus, Pen Test plus, Security plus. Each test took me about one to two months to pass it. Um, I'll show you guys later how I pass it with um, just studying and a grinding practice test. Um, if you like this video, guys, please give, give us a thumb up. Hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, notification button. I'm trying to uh, pump these videos out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Monday and Friday, or Monday and Wednesday, depending how much time I have. Uh, this is something I actually like doing, and it helps me refresh my mind and uh yeah it's good practice uh and i like try hack me the subscription base is only i believe it's 90 pounds a year which is about yeah 72 pounds which is 80 or 90 do uh, us dollars so this is a, a good i think it's a good subscription learning website so I'm not, I don't have the uh, financial backing. It's just that's something I like to learn and hopefully uh, spark uh, you guys out there, your interests. All right, let's close this out. It's almost finished loading. And I'm gonna put timestamps so you can um, skip uh, to specific answers. And yeah, so. Let's uh, copy this. All right, clipboard it. Oh. Copy again. All right. And this is click on the customer's tab on the top navigation, sign up.
All right. The load, let's uh, clear this out. It says customer, don't have account. Okay, let's create account. So I'm gonna create PLA86. So email. Save, it says go support tickets. And it says create ticket. like the screenshot okay so let's go back create our ticket test and test area all right same thing next one let's expand so Create another ticket and look at this. Copy this script. Clipboard it. Test. All right. Same thing. Okay. Let's go to command prompt. So we're going to listen to a port. So nc dash nvp, it wants to listen to port 901. Okay, let's build the payload. And it talks about break down the payload. And it says, let's create our ticket, swap out to the settings. So the port number and the IP. So test, uh, copy and paste again. So copy the script. All right. So script and it says swap out the URL or IP. So the URL is Ten, ten. I always forget. It's fifty-six. All right. See. Dot O. Don't forget the port number. All right. Let's see if this works or not. Great. So. All right. If it works, it should pop up. So it doesn't work. Let's create another ticket. So test. So that yard doesn't work. So it must be this one, the attack box IP. So it's 101039. And it says use base 64 decode was the value of staff session cookie. So you highlight this, copy, go to this base 64, paste, and decode. And this is the number. Should be correct. All right, there you go, guys. Uh, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. And you could terminate this, learn. And uh, I hope this video is helpful, guys. And uh, yes, I'll see you in the next video. Which one is this one? Cross up scripting. And the next video is going to be command injection. So recent. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.